and I know that sometimes people say like don't talk about your goals don't talk about your dreams until they happen that like people can talk bad about you but personally I don't believe that like I believe that what is for me is for me and I don't believe that because someone speaks negatively about me or my dreams that God will withhold what's for me like who are you <laughs> It's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> As you guys can see, the uploads on this channel have slowed down just a little bit, but your girl has been mad busy, mad busy. But I'm gonna catch you up. As you can see from the title of this video, we purchased another rental property. I'm gonna show you guys that. I'm gonna share the befores, the afters. But first, I just wanna chat with you for a little bit. So I'll try to make this one as quick as possible, but there's a lot of things that I do want to talk about. First of all, I'm a goal setter. You guys probably remember the video I did back from December, where I, I'll link it here, where I talked about my goals for 2022. I was so proud of myself. Like January rolled around and I just came out like psh, psh, swinging, batting, like killing it, killing it. We were able to save so much money. I cut so many areas in our budget. Like we were doing extremely well financially, which was a good thing because it allowed us to hit the goal in which I'm gonna talk about in this video today. Also in January, I was able to drop to my lowest weight to date here on this 100 pound weight loss journey. I'll link that video here because I really was like focused in on like my diet and my workouts and managing stress. Like I was, mm, I was on it. I was on it. I'm just gonna pat myself on the back. And then February rolled around. February 1st, we purchased the property in which we're gonna talk about today. That was very exciting. Like I was so excited about it. It was just such a huge accomplishment for us. But what happened is immediately after closing on that property in February, interviewing and hiring contractors, um, my mornings, lunch breaks, and evenings turned into trips to Lowe's, Home Depot, to the property, communicating with the, like it was just, it was a lot, it was a lot. And I still had on my plate, you know, all of the goals from before and I'm quickly learning about, something about myself is that I know many people are able to um, like focus on multiple goals at a time and knock those out of the way. And I've been like that at different points and phases in life. But I think now a lot of the goals that I have, they're so huge that I really need to laser in and laser focus on maybe one to two goals at a time. So basically in February, the whole weight loss thing kind of like, it fell to the wayside. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I didn't, and the ironic part, which I'm gonna share in tomorrow's video, but if you're watching this one, spoiler alert, I weighed in, I was still weighing in literally every week and I was the same exact weight, like to the T, 228.8. 228.8 228.8 so I was like you know what like forget this I wasn't mad at myself because at least I'm able to maintain my weight now what I wanted to talk about was I don't know if you guys are like me in any way but sometimes I will want something so badly like I want a goal so badly and I'll work towards it I'll do everything that I'm supposed to do I put the work in make the sacrifices and then when I get the goal instead of taking time to like appreciate Girl, you did it. I don't do that. I move on, I check it off the list, and I move on to the next goal. That is a toxic trait if I were to have one when it comes to goal setting. That is something that I do, that I'm working on, and I don't wanna do that anymore. That is what led me to creating this video. I wanted to share with you guys, if any of you are like me, sometimes, you know, I think it's important that you remember that life is not just about checking the boxes. It is okay to have goals and dreams and aspirations, like there is nothing wrong with that. But part of creating your dream life, the life that you want is being able to appreciate when the thing that you've prayed for, that you've wished for, the thing you've been trying to manifest is sitting right in front of you. Being able to have gratitude and appreciate that is definitely a part of creating your dream life. I am acknowledging that I found myself moving right along and that is not okay. So that's, again, like I said, I wanted to talk to you guys about don't make the mistakes that I've made or if you have made them, forgive yourself and maybe like if you feel like this is something that you do, as a matter of fact, Put down in the comment section, if this is something that you do, I wanna hear, like is this 
is there something even though it's only like february we're moving into march are there goals that you've already accomplished this year and you just did not even take the time to appreciate yourself or celebrate yourself you just kind of like as if it's no big deal you just skipped right on over it right it, are there share with me down in the comment section i would love to hear i would love to celebrate you and if someone else is watching this video if you see a win that someone's made in the comment section thumbs up heart give them a little bit of a comment because i think that we just need to we need to celebrate ourselves a little bit more and like celebrating yourself doesn't make you like cocky no like you did the work <laughs> you did the hard work you, you said yes to that thing but in the process you said no to a lot of other things so it's okay to celebrate yourself and as i mentioned life is not just about checking off the boxes so if you guys are okay with it today i'm just going to share a few things that i appreciate number one the first thing that I appreciate is that my husband and I were able to come together and kind of agree and be on the same accord that for this period this season of our life we are not spending lavishly in other areas we are cutting back wherever we can in order to save and invest in our future I appreciate the fact that that is a commitment that we've been able to make together and it's paying off it allowed us to buy the property in which i'm going to share with you guys today next i really appreciate the fact that we have jobs that pay us a decent wage and i'll even go further for myself in saying that i appreciate the fact that i have a job that i actually love doing i love patient care and i think it is such a blessing that i am able to do something and be compensated for something that i truly love so in this moment i am pausing and i am appreciating that today i am also appreciating the fact that we raise our kids in such a way to where taking hiking trips or doing yoga on the beach is something that they're able to appreciate. It is something that still kind of feels like a luxury to them. And even when we're cutting things really tightly, they don't feel as if they're missing out. So today I am pausing and I am appreciating and celebrating that win. The next thing that I am pausing to appreciate are our real estate mentors. I didn't grow up around knowing how to purchase real estate, but once I started sharing my dream life and I started sharing my goals with people, I just feel like the right people came into my space. And I know that sometimes people say like, don't talk about your goals, don't talk about your dreams until they happen. And that like people can talk bad about you. But personally, I don't believe that. Like I believe that what is for me is for me. And I don't believe that because someone speaks negatively about me or my dreams that God will withhold what's for me. Like, who are you? <laughs> who are you? Um, so, Today I'm pausing to appreciate the fact that I have really good mentors in my life and people that truly mean well and want to see me do well. That is something that I pray for and believes in us, believes in the dream, believes in the vision, and they're constantly like feeding back into us. So today I'm pausing to be appreciative for that. Um, today I'm also pausing to appreciate our contractors. You guys, I purchased, I told you like, I am like this. When I want something, I am like, I move like this to make it happen. Not even kidding you. Drives my husband nuts. He loves it, but it drives him nuts. So we purchased the prop. We closed on the property February 1st. And I had a goal of to allow the tenant to move in on March 1st. Like he was like, are you kidding me? Yes no i'm not kidding yes this is what i want so i am so thankful and appreciative in this moment that we found contractors that not only listened to my vision but they were able to bring it to reality like they were able to make this dream come true and without breaking the bank so i am very appreciative to that that it was something within our budget something that we could afford i am very thankful for that today i also took the time to be thankful and appreciate the fact that my husband and i are in a situation you guys like five years ago we were in one hundred and seventy thousand dollars worth of debt that that's just unreal to me you know and today we're in a position to where we're able to provide clean 
safe and affordable housing to other people like to give someone else a safe place to come home to like that is just amazing to me and like this particular property like there's a porch there's like a little lanai area and to think that whomever lives there will have a place where they can just look out and kind of get lost in their thoughts like that is so amazing to me and i am so appreciative for that in this moment also in this moment we don't know who who the new tenant will be we don't know but we've prayed over the space we've blessed the space and i am so thankful for the person that's going to come and take care of this property i am so thankful for the person that like we've already blessed this place with like to be filled with love and joy and peace and i am already so excited for the person is the person family whomever is going to receive it because believe me when i say that that is the way we're handing it off to them i don't know it makes me really happy it's not just about building yes real estate is a business for us but it's also it's a blessing like it's it's even as far as ministry you know to be able to be a be of service that someone is able to find a place that to find a place where they can rest and they can feel at home like that's just so amazing to me so my question for you is what is it what is it in your own life that you have achieved and you've just glossed right over? You've acted as if it's been no big deal, especially women. We're so, we have such a tendency to play small, to play ourselves down. Oh, it's no big deal. Oh, <laughs> that little thing. Like what little thing have you wanted and you've achieved it? Like it's sitting right in front of you and you're acting like it's no big deal. I want to hear I when I tell you I want to hear about it, like I want you guys to sound off in the comment section. It doesn't matter how big or how small. Like even about the weight loss journey, even though I didn't lose any weight and I hit 228.8 literally every week, I still consider that a win. I do. Like I because now a year ago, 6 months ago, I would have been gaining weight, you know, like going through this stressful process i would have been eating like crazy i would have been but i've learned how to just maintain my weight like that is that's a win for me you need to work on but it doesn't make me a failure i want in other areas and i think that is incredible so i just wanted to share with you guys that today like you know don't forget to celebrate your wins i guess that's the theme of this is don't forget to celebrate your wins and don't forget to celebrate where you are now i also want to celebrate where i am today that is something that is so important to me you know i want to teach more women how to create and build their dream lives but in the process of that ladies fellow you have to celebrate yourself along the way you have to all right so i've chatted for a while um what i like to do is show you guys the tour of this property that we recently bought so when i originally filmed this i had no intentions on sharing it on youtube so it is in portrait if you can bear with me on that went back through to film like the after it's actually i use a vlogging camera so that was filmed the right way show you what this property looked like before and then i'll show you what it looked like after oh and also I talked to you guys about celebrating the win. So do you guys want to know how I'm celebrating this win? Tomorrow, I am going to the grocery store with no budget. <laughs> no food budget. So I'm really excited about being able to do that. Buying whatever I want, whatever I feel we need. And I still need to get a pedicure, which I didn't even do it for Valentine's Day. Like I went to go get the pedicure and the shop was full. So I still need to get a pedicure. My toes still look jacked. Hopefully I can do that before Monday's weigh in. Yeah, that is how I will be celebrating. Yeah, so if you guys like content like this, please leave me a message down in the comment section below. I never want for the financial stuff to ever come off as like yucky, you know, like at all. I am just always willing to share the knowledge that I have because my goal is to teach women how to create their dream lives in a body that they love while on a budget that they can afford. And as far as this real estate thing goes, we're buying properties that we can afford. Like, so no we don't have big big houses no we don't have like we only have two bedrooms because we're not we're not there yet we're doing what we can with the budget that we have so if you guys want more videos i don't i don't mind talking about money any just tell me what you want to hear and ways that i can help you feel free to engage more and i'll be sure to do that
guys we're headed inside so we walk into the kitchen area which excuse my bag but those I thought I would leave up but I'm actually going to go ahead and replace those those are the only blinds that I did not replace inside but I'm going to go ahead and replace those and then here is the laundry room well, the area for the wash and dryer with two double doors washer dryer hookup double doors are here and then we'll walk into the main living area so in here we have a room for the dining room table and then over here is a storage closet painted all of this as well as that because this was the same as the um, kitchen cabinets it was this old like oak looking thing so and then we also painted all of this we went with um, agreeable gray which I'm loving and then here is the first bedroom with the closet nice walk-in closet nice size closet and we actually had to replace this entire door so that's good oh I'm glad I'm doing this because I need to put a cover on that um, then here's the first bathroom we painted well, that used to be pink towel and we painted it white nice handles and everything then here is closet water heater and whatnot um this is like my favorite part the porch here but before we go there we're going over into the master bedroom and large walk-in closet in here and then the master bedroom which has a bathroom with a walk-in shower so then we come out here and then from the master bedroom you can actually go out to the patio which again is my favorite part so you have access to the patio from both the master bedroom as well as the living room i love it love 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 labor of love for sure yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.